It is January 10th. Water broke at 4.59 or 3.59. Or, it's 4.43 in the morning. My water broke and we are headed to the hospital. Um, yeah, I actually was up. That was great. Which is crazy because I went up to go to the bathroom and I was blowing my nose and I laid back down. I was in front of the humidifier, didn't fall back asleep yet. And then all of a sudden I felt a gush. And you scared the hell out of me. And then I woke Anthony up and I was like, my water just broke. So I called the um, office. Doctors know that we're on our way and. Can we go? Yeah, we're, we're ready. ready. We're, our bags are packed. We're ready to go. Great boy, you gotta hold the port down, my guy. Put the TV on. Where did you put um, the key, the Out of extra my hand. key? Out of my hand. <sighs> I literally have an adult diaper on right now because it keeps coming out. Okay, buddy. I'll see you when we get back. And you're gonna be a big brother. Okay? Animal plan. <sighs> Go to sea. Oh, I didn't know it was that way. <sighs> oh, I'm getting a contraction right now. <sighs> We're just getting to the hospital. It's 5.08. On your ears. ears yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so cold. <sighs> so I have, um, not looking the greatest, but I have high blood pressure. So I'm on this magnesium. It's making me really hot. My mom's here. And what time is it now? Seven. 720 a.m. 720 and when they checked me I was only one centimeter so water broke it water broke at almost 4 a.m. yeah Anthony is just now texting people that are probably awake because it's now seven so that it's gonna so make me yeah he said it's gonna make me feel a little flu-like from the magnesium. I definitely feel hot. Adam goes, maybe a rookie question, but is there any way of knowing how much longer it'll be? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I have no idea. <laughs> hey, dude, your wife's pregnant. And Krista responded right away. Megan? Yeah. When was the last time you blocked? When I got on the magnesium. What was that? <laughs> Two and a half hour ago? So. She's on magnesium now because she had high blood pressure. So, and now, they're and now she's now they're gonna put her on pitocin to help the contractions be more consistent and come along stronger. Um, right now she's like ranging from four to eight minutes. So, give and take, you know, they're either longer or shorter. She has like little spikes in between. Um, she's doing good. One kind of press. Um, yeah, the magnesium makes her uh, is gonna make her really hot. So she's doing good though. Yeah, I look horrible. You look amazing. My face is so flush. My you look ears, like a mother. My ears are so red. I'm swollen. But um, yeah. They basically have me on this magnesium to to prevent seizures from the blood pressure. So yeah. it got me a little nervous. I really think the blood pressure is from like being being anxious. Yeah. Like, but they have to be extra cautious. Cautious. One thing that I have had is my fan, which I totally forgot to share in my um, hospital bag video. But it has been a lifesaver, and it just died. <laughs> so mom's trying to find a charger and I didn't bring a charger, but I had it on full blast. It's like a portable, like handheld fan. Um, and it's been like so great with that. Yeah. And, but now I have these on and yeah. But I figured it also, the heat is pumping in here. Like I'm so hot. Yeah, I know baby. Even it's on 72 downstairs, right now. Even when I was downstairs. Can we turn it down? I think I can turn it down. There's a thermostat right there. I don't know if you can. 
Let me try. Let's see if we can. Yeah. Okay. I know. Okay, I'm on Pitocin now, which is going to speed things up. My contractions are definitely getting stronger and harder to breathe through. Um, my nose is clogged, so they're getting me some saline spray because I'm breathing out of my mouth. Um, yeah, right. that's all the updates we have right now. It's 8.57, almost 9 o'clock. Okay, I have gone to the bathroom a lot. Like, in a bedpan. <laughs> <laughs> in a bedpan. Um, haven't gone I, anywhere. I had to go, but... like, a lot. So, I'm well hydrated. Um, I'm feeling okay for now. Yep. I'm gonna cry. You are gonna and cry. Are you gonna cry right now? <laughs> Uh, it's really happening. Someone's gonna be a grandparent. His dad's coming. Is he coming by or no? I think before his appointment? Or? Yeah, I, oh. I think he said he was gonna come by before the appointment to drop off. Because if that fan works better for you. It's you pretty lame, but. Yeah, that's what I said. We'll, we'll charge the other one. Doesn't, it doesn't, I could have two on each side. That would be good. The good thing with my fan, it. Oh, I'm one coming on. Charging. Yep, one's coming on. I feel it so much in my back, too. Do you? Good. Alright, so it is, what is it, like eh, 10.45-ish, and she just recently got her epidural, so she's feeling much better, I'm drinking apple juice. How you feeling, babe? Better than Yeah? You feel anything? Tingling in my legs. Tingling. And then soon we're gonna have the uh, the nurse or midwife, I think it's the midwife that we have, come in and check to see if she's any more dilated than she was at six o'clock this morning, which hopefully she is. Sure I am with all the all this. She was having she was having some really 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 strong contractions, so she was in a lot of pain. Um, so we called for the anesthesiologist and they gave her the epidural. Feels much better. So, uh, we're on cruise control right now, basically. Um, yeah. Doing good. You, you tired at all? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could... Honestly, the one thing that's annoying right now is just that I can't breathe out of my nose. Yeah, so her congestion, her pregnancy right now, this is really bad still. So, that's the one thing she's struggling with. We're just relaxing. Mm. Seeing what happens. It's a waiting game at this point, so. So it is 12.20. Feeling pretty good. Besides just being really hot. Um, they have like ice packs all over me. And just trying to rest and relax. No, um, I'm also really shaky. Like I have the shakes. This thing keeps going off. For what? Um, but yeah, so far so good. I had them come in and check me. Oh, I should probably put my arm down. The doctor came in and checked me and I was three centimeters. Um, so progressed a little bit. Um, I'm having contractions, but I can't feel them because they have a dural. Um, but yeah, everything's going good. She said that it could be another 12 hours or more. I'm hoping that he comes at least by the end of the day or early tomorrow, but who knows. That could also affect how many days that we stay here, so yeah. we'll see. But yeah, I'm looking rough. <laughs> 
definitely feel it, but they're just hanging out. I got Shrek on. <laughs> and I did bring my computer, so I don't really have anything to do besides be on my phone. But I, they told me that I have to lay down like straight like this, so I can't really move around much. Another thing too, they're purposely not checking my dilation too often. They've only checked it twice, but I first came here and then just a little bit ago because my water has, my water broke, so they try to avoid <laughs> um, checking too much. But yeah, hopefully it goes by quickly. Uh, a little tighter. Okay, don't do it like so tight. Come on. So it's now um, three fifteen. I am going to be getting checked soon, hopefully, to see how much I've progressed. Um, I'm, I'm still feeling a lot of my contractions through the epidural, so they just kind of like gave me a little bit more. Um, I don't know. I'm just tired and weak. Um, honestly, what's been bothering me a lot is like I feel like I have like the acid reflux where I'm like throwing up in my mouth almost and my congestion <laughs> that's been like something that's just not been able like I haven't been able to relax or like try to go to sleep because I'm like dealing with that and it's just really hard for me to breathe but yeah I mean everything's going smoothly they um, have kicked up my pitocin to hopefully help the contractions more and that's the update i i'm gonna find out soon if i've progressed hopefully i'm at like a five i don't know what do you think you should be more than five maybe five six i don't know like i still feel the contractions like they're not as bad but i still feel them and they said that I like press this button whenever I need more um, but they said that with the epidural that you're still gonna feel some some of it it's not gonna like completely numb you you're not gonna not feel anything because it's supposed to help you like push like you, you feel some pressure Yeah, I'm definitely, and I just switched sides. So I was like sitting on my left side for a little bit. Now I'm sitting on my right side. And we've just been watching uh, Blended, which is like one of our favorite movies. I've been having to put like cold compresses on me. And my mouth is so dry because I have to breathe through my mouth. My contractions before I got the epidural were like almost unbearable. I was crying a lot and I definitely got to the point where I like didn't think I could handle it anymore but I also feel like I kind of waited a little bit too long because obviously like when you ask for it it doesn't just come right away so but I don't know we're kind of making predictions of when he's gonna be here so how many hours have I been in labor for since um, 4 a.m. Almost 11 hours. Yeah, so. We will see. Sucks because obviously that it's here right now, time is going by so slow. Yeah, well, I feel like time is going by fast for me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, just because I've been like in pain and like yeah. just everything. <sighs> well, they said he's perfect. So, my. Perfectly why healthy. don't you share the update about my dad? Huh? My dad. What about? Like about the trip and everything, because I think I, I might have mentioned it in the last So her dad time. was supposed to leave tonight to go to Barcelona, and because she's in labor now, he had to call to get the time switched um, to see if he could leave at a later time, so he, he had to handle that <laughs> earlier today, and he'll be leaving tomorrow night now instead. Oh. All right, so. 
It is focused, I'm in the light. So it is, we're at 4.15-ish update time. We are nine centimeters dilated. Completely caught us off guard, but we're almost there. Finish line, how are you feeling? Great. <laughs> <laughs> so the epidural wore off quickly. She's feeling all the contractions. Some of them were more sparse. Some of them are really frequent together. Um, but they're hitting her hard, so we had to order more medicine. Waiting for that from the anesthesiologist right now. Um, but you can see, mom is feeling it right now. So hopefully the finish line is near. We're praying. We will see. Within what, five hours, it went from three to nine. Yeah, within five hours, three centimeters to nine. So we're hoping and praying. We'll see what happens. All right, so this is our 6:45 update. 5:45. Damn it! <laughs> it's been a long day. All right. <laughs> it's so close to the six. <laughs> you okay? She's shaking. It's a side effect from the epidural. <laughs> She's not cold. My, uh, my legs are really numb. Mm -hmm. I can't feel them. I threw up. I have really bad acid reflux. It uh, hasn't been pretty. Oh, you had two contractions that just came by. So. I felt something. I felt Did you? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, two of them. Yeah. That's good. Baby's heart rate's good. Meg's heart rate's good. <clears throat> Blood pressure. She's eating ice. We're strolling along here. Just, just need a little energy. God, I'm so shaky. So I just pushed for about 40 minutes, but my epidural is wearing off and they keep trying to give me more. And it was so, so painful. I, I could not do it anymore. So I um, decided to get more uh, to numb me where I'm feeling the pain and now I'm feeling the sensation that they want me to feel in my butt. So we're gonna try pushing again. Ooh, like right now, I feel like- Yeah, you're having- Yep, yeah, you're having like I gotta poop. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly what- uh, You'll probably do that too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel so much better. Good. Now that they gave me that. Well, that's what she said. She said, this is the way you should feel. You shouldn't yeah, have to I go know. through that pain. It, it didn't seem normal to yeah. me. Yeah. You know, I can feel it. Yeah. I, I just love the fact that I'm not feeling it all around. Yeah. I don't even feel it in my back. I feel it in my good. butt. Good, good, good. And that's just the pressure. Yeah. That's right. what that is. That's what they want. Yes. They want the pressure. They don't want the pain. You're in home stretch, honey. Home stretch. He's coming. We might have a son before 9 o'clock. Yeah. And it's 8 of 7. Easy breath. Big push your arms all the way and yeah. two. Hold it steady. Hold it steady. Four. Lots of Five. pressure. Lots of pressure. Six. Good. Seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Get back on top of it. Right there. Good. Come back up. One more. One more. Big push One. Two. Three. Three. Four. Good job. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Down there. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good all right. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come on, honey, you can do this. One, two, great. Three, Very pressure, you got four, it. Five, good job. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Go one more, baby, after this. Go one more. Go one more. Go one more. You got this, baby. You got this. You got this. You got this. And you're done. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you ready? All right, here, baby, here we go. Yeah, help your body, push this baby out, okay? Yeah. Got your breath, you're on, baby. Deep breath. Big breath, you're going to be able to push down. Down on the bottom. Two. Perfect, good, Three. that's Three. it. Stay Five, strong with this. Perfect. Six, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Put away, come on, deep breath in, go right back in. Right back in, and push through down. Come on, you got this. Good job. Hold it steady. Right there, right there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, here's his head is out there. Okay. Yes, good. Nine, ten. Good. 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 Good.
Graham. He's ready to meet the world. Man, meet his parents. This the last one. Okay. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're doing it. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, he's, trying to, he's trying to come out. Oh, he's trying to come out. Oh, he's trying. He's trying. Make his head move. Oh my God. He's trying. Oh, oh, he's trying. Okay. This is what the only thing that's holding in right now is your skin. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten. He's out. He's out. Take a little break. Take a little break. Doing great. Doing great. Dr. Campbell made it. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, my oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.